Okay, creating a new workbook in Excel is really quite simple. If you just want the standard sort of workbook that looks like this, you can just go Control N on Windows or Command N on the Mac. They're your keyboard shortcuts. You can also go into File and choose New. And in here you have different templates. The blank workbook is the standard one that you get. And if you click on blank workbook here, over here on the right, it's showing you a preview which just looks blank. You can then either double click on that or hit create. You'll notice every time it creates a new one, it has a book number at the top, so it goes book four. That will change when you go to save, it will prompt you to give it a different name. But if you don't give it a different name, that's the name it will give you. There are also many templates you can use. So if you go into file and choose new again, you can see there's a whole load on here so you might have one for say an event and if I open up this folder here it's downloading some from the internet so if it was a tournament you can see here with a little trophy there and you can click on download there are many others party planner wedding budget planner membership lists let's just try this tournament brackets one here and we just click on download you can do a search as well. Look how quick that was. It all depends on the speed of your connection. It's just taken away the lines for the grid. They're still there and it's just shaded some in and put in some lines too. So if you want to do something like that, again, this is how you do it. You just simply go into File, choose New. You can search on Office.com. So perhaps I might want to look up something like training. I've not done this one before. Let's see what happens. There you go, email training template wizard. There's a few actually, so I could have a look at that. There's an exercise planner. Double click on that one, downloads, look how quick that is. And you enter in the information. It has all the calculations and everything built in, but you can amend it. You can change the formatting and things like that too. So that's if you want a new workbook in Excel and some of the templates that are available too. You might want to go and explore those templates because you might find some of them particularly interesting for what you're doing and it will save you time not having to set up something that's already been done and you can just amend it a little bit to suit you. So that's creating new workbooks and templates in Excel.